Hello, assalamu alaikum. So, well, I welcome you all in my channel, the CS by SS. And today we will, we will be talking about network interface card. Our objective of these are first we will be uh, talking about network interface card. Then we will we will saw the difference between MAC and IP address. Then types of IP addresses and at the end we will be talking about what are the routers and how the routing process works. Network interface card. A network interface card or network interface controller is an internal physical component which enables computers and other devices to connect to a network. They are also known as network adapters. And IC have a built-in Ethernet protocol port and can be connected to a network via Ethernet cable. We can have wireless network interface card which allows a device to wirelessly connect to a network interface card is to send and receive data is used to send and receive data data packets between the computer computer or device and the network. The NIC converts data to be sent into signals that can be sent across the transmission medium. If it, this is through a wired network, the signals will be voltages through an Ethernet wire or pulses of light through a fiber. fiber. If it is through a wireless network, then the signals will be a radio waves. NIC are likely to be integrated into the motherboard but can be added as an expansion card. MAC address. A MAC address is used to identify a device on a network. It is a unique code which consists of six pairs of hexadecimal codes separated by a colon. Each pair of hex digit is a byte of data. So, in total, a MAC address is six bytes or 48 bits long. An example of uh, MAC address is given here. It's six pair of hexadecimal codes separated by a columns. The MAC address is assigned to the NIC by its manufacturer. The first three pairs are the manufacturer ID number and the last three pair is the serial number of the NIC and identifies the device on the network. A MAC address cannot be changed. It is static. See the first four address. In the pairs first three pairs are manufacturer ID and the last three pairs are device or serial ID. So there is some difference between MAC address and IP address. MAC address is permanently assigned to a NIC and cannot be changed, whereas the IP address can be used to identify devices on a network but are dynamic and can be changed. MAC addresses are written in hexadecimal. On the other hand, IP addresses are written in dendry. MAC addresses are 6 bytes long. IP addresses are 4 bytes long. MAC addresses are used to identify a device on a LAN. On the other hand, uh, MAC addresses are used to identify a device, uh, sorry, IP address uh, are used to identify a device on a LAN. In exam, they can ask this type of a question that what is meant by a MAC address and then you have to specify there are some points about MAC address like it's usually used to identify a device, it's a unique address, it is static, it doesn't change, it is set by the manufacturer. The first part is the manufacturer ID and the second part is the, part is the serial number of the device. IP address. IP address is basically the internet protocol address. It's a unique numerical identifier assigned to a device connected to the internet. IP addresses are used to identify and locate devices on the internet. This allows data to be sent and received between devices. An IPv4 address is four numbers separated by a full colon. Each number is a byte and can range from 0 to 255. 
There are over 4 billion unique addresses using the IPv4 system. And IPv4 might be look like this, 4 digits, 4 a number separated by a full colon. Routers and gateways have a unique public addresses. Public addresses are assigned by your internet services provider and is the IP address for the network. Public addresses are often static addresses meaning they do not change. See, in this way a router will uh, give you an IP address on a network and IP addresses are used to identify devices on the internet and within a LAN. It can be static and it can be uh, pri uh, dynamic. IP addresses. A router can assign private IP addresses to devices connected within its network. There are often uh, dynamic IP addresses meaning they can change. Dynamic addresses are assigned from a list of available addresses at the time they are required. IPv4 is, uh, system is running out of possible addresses due to enormous increase in network devices. So a new system has been developed which is IPv4 and it provides enough unique addresses for every network devices on the planet. IPv4 uses a 128-bit address. Digits are organized into 8 groups. Each group is made up of 4 hexadecimal digits and it's separated by a colon. In exam, they can ask a question like this any two characteristics of an IP address so you should know that IP address is a unique address it can be public or private it can be static or dynamic it IPv4 has four groups of digit and each number is uh, 0 to 255 and separated by a full stop IPv4 has eight digits of a uh, group of digits and it's separated by a uh, uh, sem um, semicolons, uh, sorry, colon, not semicolon. Most important question and mostly asked in the system in the exams difference between IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4 is a 32 bit address, IPv6 is 128 bit address. IPv4 is four groups of binary digits separated by a full stop. On the other hand, IPv6 is 8 groups of 4 decimal digit, hexadecimal digits separated by a colon. IPv4 is uh, over 4.3 billion unique addresses and IPv6 is almost infinite amount of unique addresses because it can be represented in 128 bit addresses. In exams, they can ask this type of question as well that what's the difference between private and a public IP address? A private IP address is not accessible from the internet and is used to identify device within a local area network. A public IP address is used to identify a device on the internet. Public IP addresses are assigned by an internet services provider. Public IP addresses are unique. Public IP addresses can be accessed from anywhere on the internet. Public IP address allows devices to communicate with each other across different networks. So the most important thing is you should know that what is a router and uh, uh, how this router works. So the router is basically the most important piece of network hardware. It connects one network to another. This means it can be used to connect a local area network to the internet, which is a wide area network. An important role of the router is to analyze, analyze data packets and direct them on their destination. As you can see, this diagram shows multiple networks connected by a router represented by the blue circular object. A router being used to connect a LAN to a VAN will have a public IP address which has been assigned to it by an internet services provider. 
It is this public IP address which other routers use to identify and direct packets to the network. An important role of the router is to analyze data packets and direct them on their destination. The IP address of both the sender and intended recipient is stored in the header of the data packet. The header contains information about the packet and the payload is basically the actual data being sent. We have already talked about the uh, um, structure of data packets in a previous video. If you haven't watched yet, please go and check this video. It will give you the detailed information about the structure of data packet. If the data packet is coming into the LAN, the router will send the data packet to the specific device within its LAN that the packet is meant for. If the packet is being sent from a device within the LAN, it will read the header of the packet to determine the intended destination IP address. It will then forward the packet on to the destination. It might have to travel through several routers before it gets to its destination. Each pass from router to router is called a hoop. The network access device or home hub used in your home network will have a router built into it. So, this is, these are the steps how the data packets work you in the network. In the first step, a router receives incoming data packets from one network and analyzes the packet header to determine the destination IP address. In the second phase, it then looks up the IP address in the routing table. Routing table of non-networks to determine the next network where the packet should be sent. The router then forward the packet to the appropriate network or device. Router process. This process is repeated by every router the data packets passes through until it, it reaches its destination. In addition to routing data between the networks, routers can also perform other functions such as assigning IP addresses to devices within the LAN, filtering incoming traffic based on certain criteria such as IP address, port number or protocol type. So this is just a matter of time to decide and router is responsible to decide where do I have to pass the data and how it have to be sent over the across the network. So I hope you are pretty much clear that how the data transmission works and what are the different things are helpful to transfer a data from one place to another. You like this video and Please uh, share it with your friends. Thank you so much. And um, if you are new in my channel, do subscribe my channel for the latest update videos. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.